Most tomato lovers know the difference between ones that mature outdoors during the early to midsummer and those that sprout out of season in commercial greenhouses. A study reveals that it is a lack of ultraviolet light in greenhouses that changes the flavor as tomato plants become stressed if they do not receive an adequate amount. However, the team has also discovered that growers can artificially introduce ultraviolet rays in order to environmentally enhance the flavor of greenhouse tomatoes. Purdue University hypothesized that because of the minimal amount of sunlight and the ultraviolet blocking properties of glass, tomatoes grown in greenhouses were not receiving the necessary volume of UV light, reports the American Council of Science and Health. Presently, there is a gap in knowledge with regard to the role of UVB radiation in determining greenhouse tomato quality, reads the study published in the journal ACS Publications. Knowing that UVB is a powerful elicitor of secondary metabolism and not transmitted through greenhouse glass and some greenhouse plastics, we tested the hypothesis that supplemental UVB radiation in the greenhouse will impart quality attributes typically associated with garden-grown tomatoes. The earliest known food to be grown in greenhouses was off-season cucumbers under transparent stone for the Roman Emperor Tiberius during the first century. However, plum tomatoes have only been grown inside the glass building for some 100 years. For the recent study, researchers grew tomatoes in a range of different conditions. They were grown in conventional greenhouse outdoors during the summer and in a greenhouse lit with artificial UV light. Those that grew without UV light were deemed the control group. Next, a panel of volunteers were asked to taste and rate each tomato on a scale from 1 to 9 in areas based on aroma, sweetness, acidity, aftertaste, texture and their overall experience with the fruit. The surveys revealed subjects enjoyed the outdoor seasonal fruits the most. As this group received the highest preference rating of 6.61 and the lowest score was given to the control tomatoes of 5.67. Compared to the outdoor tomatoes, this difference is statistically significant, notes the researchers. However, the team discovered that tasters gave tomatoes in the greenhouse with supplemented UVA and UVB light mildly enjoyed them. This group was given an overall 5.87. Pre-harvest treatments enhanced sensory perception of aroma, acidity, and overall approval. The authors write, suggesting a compelling opportunity to environmentally enhance the flavor of greenhouse-grown tomatoes.